or and and in terms of scale, mm -hmm. is it as many women cheating as men, or are the, is, is the data telling us something else? I think what has happened is because society has conditioned us to tell us that men cheat and women don't. Men don't look for the red flags. With women, you come home late a few times and she's already suspicious. You don't reply to her text, she's already suspicious because we've been conditioned to think that's a, a red flag. Men aren't are trained to think women cheat. They think women are loyal, loving, and, you know, if anything, they're the one that's going to cheat. So they're not trained to look for the red flag. And what I say with women who are genuinely most likely to cheat, usually it comes from her background. If she grew up without a stable, loving father figure, what happens is one partner is children are designed to be loved by two people. It's just how they're designed. You know, you've got children. They need you. They need their mom. They need two people. And you know from your own experience that you need a dad as well. Now, what happens when you are in a relationship is that person kind of becomes your everything. And when they sense a fear of abandonment, any abandonment that their partner might be some, spending too much time at work, might be taking long to reply, whatever it is, that woman who grew up with that fear of abandonment now thinks, shit, I'm going to be by myself, ends up going to somebody, having a backup plan. Whereas a woman with a healthy home, what happens when that happens, she doesn't like it, she'll communicate it more often. And if she has to leave, she'll leave. But the woman with the fear of abandonment and fear of being alone doesn't want to be by herself again. So she needs to have that love from two people. She'll get it from somebody else. And that usually is what I find. When, I, when a man asks me, tells me about his wife cheating, it's the first question I ask. It's a sad reality, though. It's a shame. Because I, I don't want to in any way judge it. But when you've had no father figure at all, it puts a lot of pressure. Women need to be loved. They need men. And so when they find a husband... He becomes the only man in her life. And when he's abandoning her, she thinks, shit, what do I do? Whereas when you have your father figure, it's like my, my boyfriend's being annoying and your dad will say, oh, you know, don't worry about it. You know, you've got that, you know, when you're comforting your kids, they come to you with so much. And then your dad gives you that financial security if you need it. And he gives you that emotional security. If you need it. He gives you that buffer. Now, without that, it's very hard for women when they start feeling like a bit abandoned. I'm not blaming anybody, but that's usually what I find is some kind of childhood trauma. So, so that then goes back to choosing the right partner in the first place, doesn't it? And you know, really? making sure you were the right person. So making sure that person's healed or understands their kind of insecurities rather than um, reincarnates them.